So this is Decent Fool with the People News. Like I said before, and I'll say it again, I never, never, never look straight forward. I always look around me for outside forces may want to commit harm upon me, whether it's a thing or man. Alright. This was kind of interesting because we go back into consent, contract, this, that, here, and there. Which is not going to be a very long video. But consent. Have you been fully informed of anything the government is telling you? Something to think about, y'all. Let's get on with the video. And uh, this is just a learning video. Uh, this is definitely no my no means of uh, uh well, I'm not an attorney, so uh, this is no legal advice whatsoever. All right. All right. Good morning, folks. It's shortly after six a.m. here. Um, just thinking about something that I think is incredibly important. Um, with regards to informed consent, you know, this is something that is uh, a very important legal concept. Um, it basically means that you have been apprised of risks, benefits, likely outcomes, possible outcomes uh, surrounding, you know, typically we'll set a medical decision in this particular case, which is something that anyone undergoing medical uh, uh, procedure or uh, taking a medication is required by law to have it and has to be thorough and it has to be to uh, the individual's understanding explained in the language that they understand and it has to uh, be it has to be uh, done to uh, uh, consider all reasonable concerns okay so there are now several lawsuits in place regarding natural immunity there was a professor at george mason university in virginia who won his case basically the university settled i think out of court or settled without challenge that natural immunity did indeed preclude his need to have vaccinations or undergo mandatory testing there is a similar case being uh, lodged in california at the university of Cal uh, california Irvine by a uh, ethics professor same sort of scenario and now uh, six employees in the state of Oregon have sought, filed similar suit. So these lawsuits are going to be popping up all the time. And, you know, the literature on uh, natural immunity is quite robust, including some literature and some studies on uh, COVID-19. So there is probably very strong legal, will be strong legal precedent uh, to document uh, natural immunity and change that decision making. Now the mandates may still, you know, be legal in some way, but exceptions for natural immunity probably will be granted and so therefore um as part of making the decision now again i'm not going to tell you what decision to make regarding vaccinations you know many of you guys say that's final is taken um, i'm happy and i feel more protected some of you obviously are uh, more skeptical and some of you likely it might be many of you particularly healthcare workers likely have been exposed likely already have natural immunity and therefore many would argue uh, uh, that uh, the vaccine becomes perhaps unnecessary in, in those situations. And I think a strong argument can be made. Um, and so if you are being asked to take a vaccine, either by your physician, by your employer, by your school, um, and you say, hey, I'd like to know what my natural immune status is, and they fail to provide it for you, I would argue that they are failing to provide you proper informed consent because this could... Uh, be very uh, change the, the outcome of the vaccine. Uh, there are some some concern that uh, side effects are more severe in those that have already been uh, injected, particularly if you get you know, two injections or perhaps three and a booster and on and on. Uh, so I think it's a very important concept to, to understand. And so I would suggest for the use, those of you that are concerned about this, if someone's asking you for uh, to take a vaccine and is not willing to allow you or provide you access to full informed consent via, you know, testing to see if you have cellular, cellular or humor, humoral immunity. That is, you know, T cell, B cell, a natural killer cell uh, for the cellular side, or antibodies on the humoral side. You know, whether it's IgG, IgM, there's also IgA and IgE. But without that information that you should be provided, 
if you ask for it. I would inform. I would. I would suggest that you are not being properly consented. That it does not constitute informed consent, and you likely have legal recourse. You, know, you can say, "Look, my doctor, my employer did not provide me full informed consent, uh, and therefore uh, this uh, basically violates the, the spirit of, of the informed consent process." All right. So, hopefully, this helps some of you guys out. Uh, I, I seriously think this is going to be. Uh, a very uh, a big legal channel, legal battle that's coming up. You know, when press, Dr. Fauci says, "Well, it's something we should talk about." You know, and I think the, the historical precedents are huge. I mean, you don't tell somebody that just had chicken pox, "Hey, you need to go get a chicken pox vaccine," right? I mean, it doesn't does not make sense from a scientific standpoint. And so I hope many of you guys will uh, take this up, pursue it, um, and and uh, because I mean, it, it's just basically you know reality. This is something that uh, uh, the other thing I would comment on is for you guys, and this is irrespective of uh, vaccination desire status. Look, immunity can be um, affected by your overall health, whether it's acquired through vaccination or acquired through natural infection. So if you are not taking care of your health, eating right, exercise, maintaining a reasonable body uh, habitus, your immunity will be compromised, okay? So if you stay fit, you stay healthy, the odds that your immune system providing a robust response is very good. That's probably in part why young people, in, in these cases, uh, you know, those people that are in a very susceptible group, particularly young males, are, are in some cases being told not to exercise for up to six months vigorously after receiving a vaccine for concerns of uh, myocarditis, we've seen that in other countries. So, again, it's interesting times. Um, I think, you know, don't be afraid to ask for um, tests to prove whether or not you have natural immunity. To actually demand those. Don't back down, okay, because it's important. All right, guys, have a great morning. We'll talk to you soon. You know I mean? The thing is, people like... Interesting to think about, y'all. Uh, like I said before, you know, I, I, I always look around me. I think out of the box, you know, uh, especially how would it benefit me the most? Or the decisions I make, will it cause harm upon me or my family? But you guys know what I'm getting at, right? So, some of y'all think this, all this stuff is, you know, benefits them. Well, that's fine. You know, uh, that's what you think. So, go ahead and follow through with it. Right? In general, I don't see how it benefits me just yet. My little grandbaby's awake, so I might have to cut this off. I have no factual evidence that this will not cause me harm. I'm coming, baby. This is with the people news. Until next time, y'all. Bye-bye, y'all.